When we first installed WooCommerce, it automatically created several important pages for us. These pages are vital for a successful shopping experience for your customers. If we navigate to our website's pages, you'll see that WooCommerce has created four pages called Cart, Checkout, My Account, and Shop. We already explored the Shop section in our previous lesson, so let's focus on the Cart, Checkout, and My Account pages and see how we can customize these using the Elementor editor. Let's head to the Pages area in the WordPress dashboard, and as you can see, we already have our WooCommerce generated pages for the Cart, Checkout, and My Account pages. Hover over Cart first of all, and then select Edit with Elementor. This is the page which customers can view once they've added an item to their cart. The page will allow them to review their order and make any necessary amendments like changing the quantity or removing an item. Once the editor is loaded, we'll scroll down to preview the existing cart. This is being generated by the WooCommerce shortcode and doesn't allow us to apply our own custom styles. So let's delete it and then add in the Elementor cart widget. Instantly we can see an improved modern layout and we can configure each and every aspect of this cart widget. We can amend the text on the buttons with ease, as well as the ability to fine tune our configurations for our exact requirements. Let's switch over to the Style tab now to apply our custom styling to match the design of our website. With the Sections tab open first of all, we'll switch off the border, then we'll open the Typography tab to set our titles, Link Colors for Normal, and Hover States, and then the Radio buttons. In the Forms tab next, we'll set the color for the placeholder text, and then we'll make the background transparent. Next we'll add a border, and then a border width. We can also set the styles for when the form fields are in focus. Let's now set the border radius, and finally the padding. If we scroll down a little further, we're able to apply the styles to the form buttons. We can set the typography, text color, border type, color, and border radius. Then the styles for the hover state of these buttons, the color, background, and border color. OK, this is looking great so far. We'll open up the Order Summary tab next, set the Title Typography, followed by the Items Typography. Then we'll change the colour of the divider, the weight, and remove the Quantity Orders border. OK, just a couple more aspects to go, and then our newly designed cart page will be ready. Open up the Totals tab, then set the Titles and Totals colour, and also the Typography. Now open the Checkout button tab, and set the Typography, Colour, Border Radius, and Padding. Now set the styles for the hover state of this button. The final tab here allows us to set specific styling for each individual area. We're going to select Totals, and as you can see a new tab for this appears. In the new tab we'll set our description typography using our global settings. OK great, let's now save our changes and preview our new design. Once finished, head back to the editor. 
If we type Command or Control E on our keyboard, we'll open up the Elementor Finder. From here we can search for our checkout page and open it up into the editor. The checkout page is the final step in the process of a customer buying a product from you. They will first of all see the fields they are required to fill in like their name, contact information and billing address. Customers can also amend the shipping options here if required and select their chosen payment method. Once the transaction has been successfully completed, the same page will also display their order confirmation. Just like with the cart page, we can see the default WooCommerce shortcode is displaying a generic design. Let's delete this and drop in the Elementor checkout widget. First of all, we'll enable the sticky right column and give it an offset of 50 pixels. If we scroll down, you can see this column now stays in place. We have several options here where we can amend the settings for the billing, shipping, additional information, order and coupon areas. The default settings work well for us, so we'll leave them alone. If you would like to explore all of these options in detail, be sure to check out our dedicated tutorial linked in the description. We can also amend the text and button alignment associated with the payment area. Here we'll set the button to justify so that it fills the width of this section. Open up the Style tab next and we'll remove the border first of all. Then in the Style tab we'll set our title, Secondary Title Color and Typography. We'll also style the checkboxes, the colour and then the typography. Finally, set the normal link colour and the hover link colour. OK, that's our typography covered. Now open the Forms tab. We'll set the column gap, the row gap, the label colour and label typography. In the fields area, we'll set the typography, color, background color, and then we'll set the border to solid, add the border width, and color. Now switch to the focus tab. Set the colour here, background to transparent, and border colour. And to finish the forms area, we'll set the padding of the fields. Now scroll down to the button area and let's configure the styles here. We'll set our typography, colour, Border, border width, border color, border radius, and padding. Now we'll switch and set the hover state, the text color, and background color. Okay, that looks great. Now scroll down and open the Order Summary tab. We'll amend the row gap, typography for the items, colour for the title and totals, and then the typography. Open the Purchase button tab next. Let's scroll down so this button is in view. We'll first set the typography, then the text colour, background colour, border radius, and padding. Now in the hover tab, set the background colour.
The final step is to select Order Summary in the Customize tab so that we can apply some specific styles to this section. We'll first set the border its width, colour and radius. Then we'll amend the padding and margin. OK, great stuff. Let's now save our changes and preview what we've created. As you can see, we now have a great looking checkout page which matches the rest of our website. Now head back to the Elementor Editor. The last WooCommerce page we're going to take a look at is the My Account page. Again, open the Elementor Finder by typing Command or Control E on our keyboard and then search for My Account. Just like before, we can see that WooCommerce has automatically added a shortcode. This shortcode will display the My Account area. The My Account area is where your customers can view the details of any orders that they've placed, as well as amend any account settings like their address and password. Let's delete the default WooCommerce widget and then drop in the Elementor My Account widget instead. We can first set whether we would like the tabs to be in a vertical or horizontal layout. We'll choose horizontal for our website, and next we'll align the tabs to the centre. Now in the Style tab, let's configure our styles to match the rest of our website. We'll set the typography first using our global styles, followed by the background colour, text colour, border type, border width, border colour, and finally the spacing. Now we'll switch to the Hover tab and add a background colour and text colour. Then we'll do the same for the Active tab. Let's now close this tab and then open the Typography tab next. We'll choose the Addresses tab here so that we can see our changes in real time. We'll set the section titles first, the colour, then the typography, and spacing. If we now switch to the Dashboard tab, we'll configure more styles, and you'll see these are applied across all of the different My Account tabs. We'll set the general text colour, and then the general typography. The final setting here allows us to style the links. We'll set the normal link state first, followed by the hover state. Close the typography tab now and open the forms tab. We'll switch to the account details tab so that we can see a form while we're making our changes. We'll style the labels first by setting the colour and typography. And then we'll move on to the fields where we'll style the colour background colour, border type, border width, border colour, and radius. Next we'll switch to focus and set the colour and border colour. Finally we'll add some padding. Scrolling down we can also style the button here. We'll configure the typography Background colour Hover background colour and border radius. The final section is to style the order tabs. We can first style the titles and totals. Here we'll set the typography, item colour, and item typography. 
Scroll down slightly and now we're able to configure the product link color for both normal and hover states. Next we'll amend the divider to be solid and with a width of 2 pixels and set a color using our global styles. And finally we'll add our styles to the button. We'll first set the normal text color and background color and then we'll set the hover text color and background. We'll next set the border radius, border, and finally padding. OK, great, let's save this page and then preview our new My Account area. As you can see, the new design fits in well with our website and provides a seamless experience for our customers. WooCommerce does a great job of automatically creating these essential pages for your store. Combined with the ease of editing these pages in the Elementor editor, you have a solid toolkit to create an amazing store for your customers that they'll want to come back to time and time again. In our next lesson, we'll learn how to configure the shipping options for your store.